Thanks for purchasing the Echo RO and Echo H2 server bundle. Today we're going to be talking about initial setup and installation. To set up your Echo RO and Echo H2 server bundle, the initial step is to install your new Echo RO. The first thing we need to do is attach the T valve to the source water valve. To do this, we shut off the cold water valve, detach the cold water line from the cold water valve, wrap the threads of the source water valve and T valve in Teflon tape, attach the T valve onto the cold water valve, and attach the cold water line to the T valve. Remember, hot water will damage your Echo RO, so make sure to use the cold water line. Softened source water will extend the life of the Echo RO membrane. Then, insert one end of the white 3 8 inch tubing into the inlet elbow of the Echo RO. Cut off any extra tubing to remove slack. Then, attach the other end of the T-valve. Next, we need to install the drain clamp. To do this, choose where the drain clamp will be installed and drill a 1 quarter inch hole straight into the vertical section of the drain pipe. Make sure not to drill through both sides of the drain pipe. Apply the sticky part of the foam padding to the inside of the drain clamp around the hole. Insert the red tubing into the drain clamp so that it sticks out about half an inch. Then, secure with a locking clip. Using the part that sticks through as a guide, affix the drain clamp to the drain pipe using the included nuts and bolts. Measure from the drain clamp to the drain elbow on the Echo RO. Trim the tubing down as needed to reduce slack. Push the other end of the red tubing into the drain elbow on the back of the Echo RO and secure the tubing with a locking clip. Next. Start the installation process of your Echo RO server faucet. Drill a 1 half inch hole in the countertop where you would like to install the Echo RO server faucet. To ensure that the faucet spout is over the sink basin, drill the hole no more than 5 inches away from the sink basin. Make sure the O-ring is properly seated in the underside of the escutcheon. Thread the escutcheon plate over the threaded post of the faucet and push it all the way up. Place the faucet over the drilled hole and hold the faucet's handle in the direction you would like it to face. While holding the faucet in position, slide the black gasket up against the bottom of the counter. Slide the white plastic puck flat side up against the gasket. Slide the washer up against the puck. Slide the locking washer up against the washer. Then screw on and firmly tighten the nut, securing it all in place. Screw the threaded push-to-connect adapter onto the bottom of the faucet's post. Next, install your Echo H2 server. Use the plastic key provided to remove the plugs from the out and the in ports. Take the blue tubing included with your Echo RO. Stick one end into the pure water out elbow. Secure with a locking clip. Take the blue tube and measure the distance to your Echo H2 server. Trim any unnecessary tubing to reduce excess slack. Fit the end of the water line from your Echo RO into the in port of the Echo H2 server. Make sure the connection is secure, and secure with a locking clip. Now it's time to connect your Echo H2 server to your Echo RO server faucet. Attach the white tubing into the Echo H2 server out port. Measure the distance from your Echo H2 server to the bottom of the faucet. Cut the tubing if there is a large excess of slack. Connect the white tubing to the faucet by simply pushing the tubing firmly until it locks in place. Then, making sure the faucet is closed, open up the cold water valve to supply water to the Echo RO and Echo H2 server in that order. Plug in the Echo RO first and then inspect for leaks. Then plug in the Echo H2 server. Allow the water to flush for 90 seconds. Once the flushing is finished, open up the faucet and let it run for about 3-5 to five minutes to get rid of any air inside the filters. Now that you're all set up, it's time to enjoy your new Echo RO and Echo H2 server. Thanks for watching.